Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Star Wars Rebels mission series number one, Garazeb Aurelios and Stormtrooper 2-pack. Here's a look at the packaging. Alright, so both of these Mission Series figures are completely new sculpts. This is the very first time Zeb has ever been offered as an action figure. And the same goes for the Stormtrooper in the Rebels iteration. I think from a sculpting standpoint, both of these figures look really good. Zeb particularly looks excellent, I think. Um, you know, definitely quite imposing and menacing, just like he is in Rebels. Um, but, you know, also a, a nice guy overall. And uh, Stormtrooper, you know, looks quite well. The paint is a little bit sloppy on his helmet, but this is, in fact, one of the better ones I have seen. I really like the way that they uh, did Zeb, you know, just his overall character design. Of course, it's inspired by the early uh, McQuarrie Chewbacca designs, but uh, I think the character looks really good. Love the way that he's posed here. And uh, Stormtrooper, you know, very basic, but uh, he follows the Rebels design quite nicely. Uh, in terms of paint, um, both of them are pretty basic, especially the Stormtrooper. Uh, I mean, he's pretty much plain white with a little bit of black. Zeb, on the other hand, uh, is a little more colorful. Uh, his skin tone is uh, kind of like a light uh, brownish purple with uh, black stripes. Uh, he's got bright green eyes. He's got a very army-esque green armor with yellow on it as well. And he also has what looks to be um, something like a, a shark or uh, some kind of creature type design on his left shoulder, which uh, is quite cool. Give you a close-up of Zeb there. Uh, Zeb is a cool character on Rebels. Uh, you know, like I said, he's imposing and, you know, he's a little bit scary looking. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, he's a good guy. He's got a good heart. Um, I think the eyes may be a little bit too uh, green ish. But um, nonetheless, they're, they're pretty good. Um, again, the sculpt on him is, is very nicely done. Uh, you know, he definitely appears like he popped right out of the, the TV for the most part. Um, very nicely done. It, it certainly follows the animation very closely. In terms of articulation, Zeb has a silva here at the head. He has silvals at his shoulders, and then he has silvals at his hips. Close-up of the Stormtrooper. Uh, as you can see, it's imperfect. Um, the eyes, you know, they're a little bit sloppy. But, um, you know, like I said, this is the best one I have seen so far, which isn't saying much. So, you know, hopefully Hasbro gets on that and starts... Uh, you know, keeping tabs on what's going on at the factory because, you know, these need a little bit of work. Um, the mouth yeah, it looks okay. That too is a little bit sloppy, I think. Um, the rest of the, of the figure looks quite nice. Very, very Rebels-esque and, uh, you know, very nice. Um, like with what we saw with the mission series uh, Boba Fett and Stormtrooper 2-pack, this Stormtrooper seems to be suffering from discolored parts. Um, the helmet, arms, and legs are a little bit of a different color from the torso and it may be a little hard for you to pick that up on camera but uh it's definitely there and uh you know it sucks because you know who wants discolored stormtroopers right off the bat um and uh you know hopefully this doesn't get worse over time because that would be a huge bummer um you know an easy way they could avoid this is just paint the whole figure the same color i think what they're doing here is casting this torso piece here in white plastic which is what you see there and then um, the arms, legs, and helmet. They're either casting them in white as well, um, in, in a much softer plastic, which is causing the discoloration, or uh, they're casting them in black and then coloring the white bits white, uh, which is a different white from the torso. I don't know which it is. This has been happening off and on over the last decade, and uh, you know I hope that Hasbro catches wind of it and you know fixes it because you know it sucks. In terms of articulation, our Stormtrooper has Silvel at the helmet, he has Silvels at the shoulders, and then Silvels at the hips. Zeb comes with a very unique looking gun, and uh, you know it's a light color, um, but it does have a little red uh, dot right there. Um, it's very unique, but uh, I find that he holds it a little bit strangely uh, in the right hand. It, it, it just is an awkward fit. You kind of got to, you can't really get it all the way into his hand, but, you know, you just kind of rest the trigger on top of his index finger like that. Um, but he holds it okay, so, I mean, it seems like it works pretty well. The Stormtrooper comes with a standard Stormtrooper Imperial Issue Blaster. 
Um, as far as I can tell, though, this is an e-sculpt for Rebels. The little clip there on the side sticks out quite a bit. And it is a little bit warped, as you can see there. So you just put it in his hand there, and bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars Rebels 2014 Mission Series number one. Gera Zeb Aurelios, a.k.a. Zeb, and Stormtrooper. For $10, uh, you know, it's really hard to beat this kind of a set. Uh, you get two nicely sculpted figures. Um, Zeb, who, you know, is, has not been released as a single carded figure in the Rebels lineup. Uh, and the Stormtrooper, who has also not been released as a single-carded figure. Not yet, anyways. I imagine that at some point they would, unless they outright cancel the Rebels figures altogether, which I wouldn't be too surprised if that happens. Um, but, uh, you know, all in all, nice set. I like Zeb quite a bit. I think he sculpted quite nicely. The paintwork on him is done pretty nicely. His gun is really cool. Uh, the Stormtrooper, you know, he is discolored, um, which, you know, is a bummer. But uh, the sculpt is is pretty good. Uh, the paint, you know, a little bit sloppy in the helmet could be improved upon. Uh, he has a standard Stormtrooper blaster, so there's not a whole lot I can add there. Um, all in all, if you're collecting the Rebels figures, you know, you definitely want to have Zeb in your collection, so you're going to want to get the set. And you will get the Stormtrooper, which is also cool. Otherwise, if you're not into Rebels, you might not find this set very interesting. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until the next review, bye-bye.